1994, a player came to Ibrox who would add a completely new dimension to Rangers. His skills and ability were outstanding. He was truly a world-class player. At the start of that season, few people had heard of him. By the end of it, they hailed him as a hero. He was, of course, Brian Lauder. Brian was brought from Italy by Walter Smith. The manager knew Brian had potential, but privately, maybe even he was impressed by his new signing. He made an impact right from his first game. Person to Laudrup, who's popped up again on the right hand side, taking on McKinnon, floating in the cross. It's a good one, it's Hitley! The Rangers force it away to Laudrup. He's running by Laudrup, there could be something on here. Duncan Ferguson stays left. It's Ferguson! Brian's ability to tear defences apart made him the perfect provider for attacking players such as Mark Heatley. He often said that providing goals gave him as much pleasure as scoring goals. Arguably one of the greatest providers ever seen at Ibrox, Brian could take on defences single-handed. Often his goals for Rangers were spectacular. Loudrop, he's got McCoy, he's got Heatley, we're on the right. He decides to go at a long, brilliant play by Loudrop! It's Loudrop. That's a magnificent strike by Loudrop. The second goal for Rangers. For any new player, their first Old Firm game can be nerve-wracking. The expectation of the supporters is huge. The pressure to perform is intense. But Brian had settled in quickly at Rangers and was about to prove his worth. This is Loudrop. Nice first touch from McCoy to Jury. House is in the middle. McCoy's arriving. Loudrop's here as well. Still it's Loudrop. Great skills again by him. Oh, marvellous goal by Loudrop. 17 minutes gone here at Tannadice. Fantastic skills from Loudrop. Stepping away from two defenders and sending an unstoppable shot. the two United players, and what a wonderful finish. In his first season, Brian had a... Brian's influence on the team was enormous. He opened up new opportunities for strikers and himself, always entertaining the crowds. His first goal gave him as much pleasure as any he scored afterwards. And when the championship was won for the seventh time in a row, Brian was, of course, part of the action. And here comes Loudrop now. Rangers going in for the kill. It's Loudrop again, finding Mikhailichenko. Loudrop runs on the outside of him, still it's Mikhailichenko! However, in the following season, he lost almost three months due to injury. By November, he had played in only two league games. His comeback came against Celtic, and Brian did not let the supporters down. A 
It's from Richard Goff. This is Gascoigne. Still it's Gascoigne forcing it through. Chance on here for Loudrop. And it's a great goal by Loudrop. Rangers one, Celtic one. And Loudrop, who had switched over to the right hand side, it was Goff who got the touch. Gascoigne did well here to hold off Van Hoydonk. A little touch by Cleland, who was under pressure. And Loudrop picked his spot right in the corner. Brian was now back on form. In the Scottish Cup, he would shine. In the semi-final, the opponents were Celtic. In past encounters, the Parkhead side had learned to fear the Dane. That fear was justified when the rivals met at Hamden. And again, he has to use them. Loudrop, well and even outside him. Loudrop. Oh, it's a lovely ball for Gordon Jerry. has sprung clear, Brian Loudrop past Marshall and Rangers fail and they've got one foot in the final That winning goal did take Rangers to the final where Brian's performance was so outstanding that although Gordon Dury scored a hat-trick it was Brian Loudrop who won the Man of the Match award Dury to Loudrop That's good running by Loudrop, a chance here for Rangers were ripped asunder. Julie's pass off with Lauder on the run again, followed by McManus. A severe test for young McManus this, looking after Lauder. And a bloomer by Rousset. It's a second for Lauder. Johnston, I mean, the man who can make a tackle on Jury, perhaps. Gascoigne, back it goes towards Jury. Well, Rangers are really toying with Hearts now. Here's McCall. Robertson towards Loudrop. He's only against McManus. He's still on his feet. And this is Jury shooting the fourth. Again, the build up by Brian Loder, who's been involved in all the goals this afternoon. And here's Loder. Jury's inside, looking for his hat trick. Measured for Jury. 5 1 to Rangers. Loder the provider. Jury the finisher. Brian was already a hero at Ibrox, but his demolition of hearts that day placed him in the history books. After a worrying start, the eight in a row season ended in glory for Brian and the club. But the next season would establish Brian Loudrop as a legend. Gascoigne waits until there's movement around him. He can pick out a pass to Goff. This is Loudrop. Van Bossen says when he wants the ball played, Evan won't let him go there. Loudrop does it by himself. Chance for the second. Oh, that's great play by Loudrop. Sheer class. Trying to get a run going here. They'll have a goal. Superb goal by Brian Loudrop. In November, Rangers met Celtic. The Parkhead side were at the top of the table, hoping to stay there and end the nine in a row challenge there would be only one goal scored, and it came from the destroyer of Celtic. There's a slip by O'Neill, and Loudrop to win. Rangers look for a goal and get one! In the eighth minute from Brian Loudrop. 
Celtic never recovered from that defeat and Rangers powered on to take their ninth championship in a row. Wari sends it in. It's easily headed away though by David Robertson. A touch by McKimmy. It's not a good one. It's picked up by Charlie Miller. Lloyd up starts a run through the middle. Wari's here. The goalkeeper's committed himself. This surely must be a goal. Brilliant finish by the Loudrop. Loudrop goes inside again. He has Anderson winning in the middle with McCoist. Anderson. Loudrop again. He's onside. Genius again from Loudrop. With such brilliant performances over three seasons, it was only appropriate that the goal which brought the ultimate prize to Ibrox was scored by Brian Loudrop. Now he can. McAnally doing the closing down job, which he does so well for them, the United. Miller's cross is a good one, that hits Loudrop! <laughs> it's a classic from Loudrop! Tinium a light for a glorious goal. It's a terrific delivery this from Charlie Miller with his left foot. Loudrop coming at this with real pace and power. And Dykstra had the chance. He crossed the bows of his marker, Loudrop. No answer to that at all. Brian Loudrop. <laughs>